everybody how you doing it's me robin <laughs> i have been knocked out the whole day literally so i don't know if my body was just caught up in a lot of excitement or what but been out like a light and so um i had an enjoyable experience yesterday at my um at my egg transfer um they ended up transferring two uh grade b eight cell like i wanted <laughs> embryos my other two were four cell and six cell so they're waiting to see if they're going to be able to freeze or not so they're not though that's fine you know um i'm gonna miss my babies but <laughs> Um, I just feel like God's got it under control. God's got it under control. I know that um, I thought I was going to be real nervous with my two-week wait, but so far I'm just like chilling, you know, just waiting around for God to tell me that it's official. I already know what's going to happen. I've been blessed this far, and I just don't think that he's going to, you know, um, I just don't think he's going to fail me now. And it's so true what Nikki Proverbs said about waiting around for the transfer time. That's the most important time and stuff. Because it's true, you know. I'm so proud of my two eight-cell embryos. <laughs> but um, my husband, oh my gosh, you guys are going to see in the video. He is so obsessed now because we were in the car and he was talking about that he wanted to name you know if we had two boys he's like so obsessed saying that we're gonna have two twin boys now and um he said that he wanted to name my son okay jacoby yes jacoby he wanted to name my son braylon jacoby vickers yes <laughs> Okay, we already have a name chosen for a boy, which is Robert Jordan. He's going to be named after my son that passed away, Jordan. But, um, you know, Robert, of course, named after his father, and we're going to call him RJ. So he was saying, you know, oh, we can have an RJ and a BJ, and they're going to be twins, and they're going to play basketball together. Okay, and then he was like, so we're going to name him, you know, Robert Jordan and Braylon Jacoby, after the two best basketball players, Kobe Bryant and... Um, Michael Jordan and when they one years old I'm going to teach them how to play basketball I'm like baby though Braylon, Jacoby Braylon's not that bad I probably wouldn't be naming him calling him something else but Jacoby mm -mm. but my husband is so hype about it you're going to see he even talked about it all in the, in the video because he found a magazine that had Kobe Bryant and Braylon, and Braylon Edwards in it so he's just like crazy about it <laughs> I said what if we're having a girl he's like I don't know <laughs> but I like Erica Marie if we have a girl but like I said I'm just blessed and I know that God's in control of everything and I know that it's going to be successful and I'm just getting used to laying down and being a mommy you know I'm so proud of my embryos I think they did a good job and I'm just blessed and I can't wait <laughs> I can't wait to get the phone call saying, you're pregnant. And I'm like, yes. And I'm going to tell you guys and everything is going to be exciting. God's brought me and my husband a long way. And this is the end of our journey right now. End of our journey, the start of our testimony. That's what it is. So I like to give God praise in advance for my victory. Give God praise in advance for my one or two babies. Whatever one he decides because they've already been written in the last book of life. He's already had a, a, a destiny for them. And I'm going to raise them to love him and to make a positive impact on the world and to raise them to be godly men, our men and women, our women, who knows. <laughs> so I'm just blessed and I can't wait to tell you guys that I'm pregnant because I already am. So I love you guys and um Oh, I think I was supposed to tell you, she gave me a call, and one of my nurses gave me a call and said that my estrogen level is um, 2,701, and my permetrium or progestin, I don't know which one, sorry, 
level is at um, 117. So if one of you guys can tell me what does that mean, uh, you know, and how does it, um, you know, what does it have to do with being pregnant and everything, and let me know. I know I should have told her, but I was so sleepy and out of it that I didn't even think about it. But I don't know, if, like I said, if it was progesterone or whatever, permetrium, whatever it was, I don't even know. But one of them was 117. So let me know. <laughs> I know that's a shame, but um, God bless you guys, and be praying for me and my baby, and you guys can watch the video after this. Yeah. I can relate to that Jamie Foxx song called Heaven. Let me take one moment, a second, to reflect on a future blessing with some present repercussions. But my trust in God is something not budget than I picture my baby with labor pains. This is not a normal pregnancy. I feel selfish because I made a strain. Into the world comes a beautiful little girl. Most precious thing you've ever seen. Little female me. No stressing. No second guessing, no paternity test needed. She's mine, I can see it. I'm telling you, daddy's gonna be overprotective. But it's for your own good, so I hope you respect it. Funny how your life changed when you know you're expecting. With my hand by my stomach, I can feel the connection. My eyes welling up, overflowing with joy. The only thing I'm gonna abandon is a mind of a boy.